Hi guys, thanks for joining me. On this video, I want to continue the dog supply series. This video will show all of the um, grooming supplies that I use for the dogs. Here's just an overview of the area. The grooming supplies in the, the grooming area is in pet room, which I have done previous tours on. Just showing you where I can keep everything in the storage units that I use. So if you'd like to see more in detail, please stay tuned. first thing I want to show is going to be the grooming schedules. This one right here is for Coco. I break down her grooming schedule into daily, weekly, and monthly. When I do her grooming series, I'll do that in more detail. Here is the overview of the pet schedule, um, more in detail about laundry and prevention, heartworm and flea and tick prevention. Now we're going into bathing supplies. Here is a utility tub that I got from Ace Hardware and it sits in the full bathroom downstairs. Each dog fits perfectly in the bathtub. I also use these 32 ounce mixing bottles from Top Performance. I use this to dilute the shampoo. Comes with this flip top nozzle. Here are my gallon refills down at the bottom of the shelf. First I have the Chris Christensen Spectrum 10 shampoo. I use this on Coco's drop coat. And I did have to purchase the pump separately. I also have the Spectrum Trim Conditioner. Now for the boys, I've been using the Crown Royal Deep Cleansing Shampoo. It's a little strong, so I may not get this next time. I also like to use the Hypoallergenic Tearless Shampoo on their faces. And I use a mix of cream, rinse, and moisturizer as a conditioner for the boys. I love to use this Crown Royal Ultimate Detangling Spray on Coco before I brush her out in the morning. And this is just a bottle of perfume. And then a small bottle of cologne. Before their baths, I like to put in a little bit of mineral oil into their eyes to protect their eyes from the shampoo. For grooming tools, I have um, several different brushes and combs. Right here is a slicker brush, and then a triangular slicker brush. Helps with the dog's wire coats. I have a pin brush here for cupcake. In Coco's brush container, I have the miniature oval Chris Christensen 27 millimeter pin brush. The oblong 27 millimeter pin brush. It's just a little bit longer. This rounded pin brush here, I use when she's um, more matted. The butter comb, medium and coarse, and then the um, other metal comb here. This one is for Coco, the butter comb, medium and coarse. She also has a face and finishing fine comb and then her rat tail comb, which I use to put up her top knots. The rake here is for, coat, for a cupcake when he is blowing coat and I need to plot his undercoat. And then my lifesaver is my dematter for when they have mats that need to come out. This is the um, storage that I have for the bows. It's for Michaels. It's just a hanging jewelry organizer. I also like to keep the bows in little baggies to help keep them from getting too dirty. When I travel, I do keep the bows in these little storage containers here. Sometimes when I'm not doing a proper top knot on Coco, I'll just use these terry cloth elastic bands to pull her hair out of her face. These are the bands I use when I do a full top knot. It's just a tea tower with four separate compartments, and in each compartment there's a different color band. There's her hot pink, her baby pink, purple, and teal. 
This is the top knot pillow I'm using for Coco. She rests her head on it so I can put her hair up. These are a pair of my grooming scissors. They're from Double Duck. These are my curved ones. And then those are my straight ones. I also have a pair of smaller scissors. And a pair of safety scissors when I have to cut around their face. These are the band scissors I use to remove those top knot bands. You'll see it has a little hook there which makes cutting the band easier. I have several different kinds of nail trimmers. And these small ones are great for guinea pigs and cats. A little bit of quick stop powder in case I cut too far in the nail. My hemostats, I have a small pair here. This is for removing ear hair from inside the ear canal. Then I have a larger pair as well. Going on to ear care, this is the Gallon Refill of Pro Ear Ear Cleaner. And I just refill a smaller container to use daily. This is a foaming ear cleaner from Pro Ear. And then also the ear powder, which I use with the hemostats to take the ear hair out of the canal. Here are my Andy's Clippers. It's a two speed. A lower level and then a higher level. This is just a loom organizer. You can use it for beads or bands. And I used to keep my um, blades separated and organized. So I have the different blade types separated. Some cleaning supplies. Smaller clippers. parts for the clippers. On to blade care. This is cool lube, so if you're using the clipper for a long time, the surface of the blades will get hot. Let's just use to cool it down. Clipper oil to keep the clippers in good condition. And then blade wash to clean the blades. For dental care, I like to use these little baby finger brushes. I find it's just easier to get into the mouth and it's a little bit gentler on the gums. another set. Now Cupcake has an odd shaped mouth so I have these children toothbrushes. They're a little bit longer. I can get deeper into his mouth. So those are Cupcakes. And I just use over-the-counter dog toothpaste for everyone. I also use cotton balls and q-tips to clean out the ears on a daily basis. And then baby wipes for our faces and other messes. When Coco's all done, she does get grooming treats. This is a Easter basket from Michaels from several years ago, and we just use Charlie Bear treats for grooming. These are my grooming clothes. They're just that repellent material that keeps hair and water from messing up the clothes. For grooming equipment, I like to use these caddies to keep the brushes organized. This one here is from Rolodex, and I got it from Walmart. I just keep all of the boys' stuff organized in here. I like it because it's got the little holes in it so I can keep the toothbrushes in so it can dry. Little removable compartment down there. Just showing you the different compartments and how it separates everything very nicely. Oh, this one's for Coco. It's by Paper Studio. Got it from Hobby Lobby has many different compartments on the outside for organizing bottles and small tools. Nice handles, zipper compartments on the back. See-through compartments on this side. Velcro pockets in the front. and three different divisions in the middle. 
Underneath of my grooming desk, I have a shelf here I got from PetSmart. Just helps me keep little odds and ends organized. The grooming desk itself is from Pet Edge, just a small purple grooming table. All the dogs fit on it really nicely. Just wanted to show you a close up of the surface. It is textured to give it some non slip protection there so they don't fall. I also picked up a grooming mat from Big Lots. It has a textured side so it doesn't move around on the grooming table. And I also have a microfiber memory foam bath mat as well. For lighting, the room I'm in has no windows. So I just use these tree lights here. One is from Walmart, one is from Target. And then I have overhead lighting above. The chair I set in is from Ikea. And I just put a cushion on it from Target to keep it comfortable. And then a small trash can to keep everything tidy. The trash can is from Ikea.